What's going on, guys? And welcome to a brand new playthrough on this channel. This is a, a Pokemon game, but I wonder what Pokemon game it could be anyway. So, um, yeah, you can tell by Game Freak's Pokemon game. Now, I am long overdue to tackle a Pokemon game on this channel. And why not start with Pokemon Red, the original game for the Game Boy. Now, uh, this was the first Pokemon game I ever played in my life, so I thought it was a uh, very fitting tradition. So, uh, I will say, however, even though I personally love this game, I personally also have some gripes with it, but uh, it's definitely not polished compared. I'm definitely not going to approach this playthrough the same way, the way the perspective of a Gen 1er, because this game is definitely not as polished as what would come later in the po Pokemon series. They're really... The recent Pokemon games really haven't been polished much either, so, uh, we'll get to that another day. Let's tackle some Pokemon Red. Anyway, so, um, there's the continue, which that's actually my practice playthrough, uh, right here, and, uh, I did practice playthroughs of both the Red version. I chose the Red version because I'm more familiar with this version, but, uh, we're gonna set the technique to pass. I like to do that in Pokemon games now, starting a new game. Hello there, welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Oak. People call me the Pokemon Professor. This world is inhabited by creatures called Pokemon. For some people, Pokemon are pets. Others use them for fights. Myself? I study Pokemon as a profession. First, what is your name? Anyway, so, uh, the default names are Red, Ash, and Jack. Um, I'm just gonna give myself my own name. Uh, we're gonna give it, uh... We're just going to call ourselves... Right, so your name is Bear. This is my grandson. He's been your rival since you were a baby. And what is his name again? Now, the default names are Blue, Gary, and John. I'm going to name him his official name, which is a Blue, even though it's Gary in the anime. That's why I remember now his name is Blue. Bear. You're very much from what I'm going to unfold. The world of dreams and adventures with Pokemon awaits. Let's go. Now, listen to this music. Oh, yeah. This was the first song I ever heard playing a Pokemon game. And I absolutely love it to this day. Now, the interesting thing is, Bear is playing the SNES, so it's time to go. I'm actually playing this off the Super Game Boy, because even though I could have used the Game Boy to play for the Game View, I always thought this game looked nicer on the Super Game Boy, because there's more variety of colors. Now, one thing I recommend doing right off the bat is withdrawing this potion. Because, uh, you might need it for what's gonna come, but, uh... Then we're gonna talk to our mom right here. Right, all boys leave home someday. It says so on TV. Professor Oak next door is looking for you. Anyway, so, well, I actually watch the TV. There's a movie on TV. Four boys are walking on the railroad tracks. I better go to I wonder if they're referring to Stand By Me with that, which is a very iconic movie right there, but, uh... Now, if we go inside, however, if we go inside Professor Oak's office, however... There's a rival. Yo, Bear, Gramps isn't around, but, uh, there are these, uh, Pokemon, uh, right here, but, uh... So, Professor Oak is nowhere to be found, and also, if we go here, uh, this is, uh, Blue's house, so, uh, if we go over here, uh... Hi, Bear, Blue is out at Grandpa's lab, but anyway, so, uh... So, we try to leave Pallet Town? Well, hey, wait, don't go out! It's unsafe. Wild Pokemon live in tall grass. You need your own protection. Pokemon for your protection. I know. Here, come with me. Interesting thing, if you play the yellow version, you're gonna encounter a Pikachu right there, and Professor Oak's gonna catch it. That's gonna be your default Pokemon. So, uh... I'm not as nowhere near familiar with the yellow version. I tried playing through it. It, it was an important playthrough. Gram's not better with raiding. Blue, let me think. Well, that's right. I told you to come this way. Here, Bear. There are three Pokemon inside. Haha. <laughs> They're inside Pokeballs. When I was young, I was a serious Pokemon trainer. In my old age, I don't have 3S, but you can have one to choose. Hey, Gramps, what about me? Be patient, Blue, you can have one too. Now, I'm going to go over each of these uh, starters, uh, their strengths and weaknesses and all that. The first of all is Charmander. is uh, definitely the most iconic of the three. I'm not going to go with him this playthrough because I personally never liked using Charmander in Gen 1 because... Even though it's a really solid special attacker, it's weak to a lot of the gym leaders, and it's weak to a lot of common types you find in this game, so that is a definite disadvantage. Plus, 
Charmander also has very low defense stats because this can make him an easy knockout type since week two, so I'm not going to go with him with this play for that reason, so... Second one is a Bulbasaur. I'd say this is the easiest of the three to use in a Gen 1 playthrough, and, uh... But I'm not going to go with Bulbasaur either because uh, I thought I'd make this special occasion. So, Squirtle is the water type, and it's definitely strong against the first gym leader, and uh, several others as well, so, uh... Squirtle is also the first Pokemon I ever went with in a playthrough, so we're gonna make this a special occasion to Squirtle. And we are gonna give this a nickname, because I thought of one, and, uh... I always had a habit of naming the Squirtle this, but, uh... We're gonna name it Bowser. Now, the rival is going to choose a starter, and he chooses Bulbasaur. In the older games, they always choose the Pokemon that's stronger than yours, and they changed that from, like, Gen 6 going onward, but, uh... Now, the reason I recommend getting that potion back in your house... Hey, wait, Bear! Let's check out a Pokemon! Come on, take you on! Anyway, so this is our first rival. You can actually lose this also, and it doesn't harm you actually, but, uh, Blue wants to fight, but, uh, big, pretty big reason I decided to, uh, get this. Now, the first, uh, moves we're gonna know are Tackle and Tail. Bulbasaur, the first moves are gonna know are Tackle and Growl. So we're not gonna, it's not gonna know, like, Bind Whip or anything like that, so that's not really the case with these older Pokemon games. I know, like, in the newer games, like, your water types are, will start off with, like, water ground or something. That's not the case in these older games. One thing Gen 1 AI loves to do is spam, like, growl and all that. I've never really been doing that with this fight, but, uh, they love to spam, like, growl and all that. And, like, uh, use, like, try to lower your attack and all that. We almost got this Bulbasaur down, but, uh... And it's down. We didn't even have to use the potion, but anyway. Bowser's level 6. And we defeated Blue. What? Unbelievable, I picked the wrong Pokemon. Okay, I'll make my Pokemon fight to toughen it up. Fair Gramps only later. Anyway, so, there's actually no possibility to get this Charmander, so uh, that's probably the last Pokemon, yeah. So yeah, you unfortunately can't- Charmander's gonna be left out, but um... Now, if you um... I think if you actually, uh, if you go to your mom, you don't really need to do this, but, uh, Barry, you should take a quick rest. She's gonna act as kind of a Pokemon Center, which we'll get to those later, but... I'm pretty sure a good majority of people watching this have played a Pokemon game at some point in their lives, which... I feel bad if you haven't. Now we're gonna leave Pallet Town. Now, um... If you go in these grass right here, uh, this is traditional in these older games. It's not like Pokemon are out in the wild like they are in the newer games, but, uh... You're gonna find a lot of Pokemon. The two Pokemon you can find on this route are Pidgey and Rattata. Pidgey, I don't find is really the one of the better flying types, so I'm not gonna really use it. And plus, Rattata, even though it's a common rodent Pokemon, I don't find it as good an HM slave as later generation Pokemon, so the first one... Pokemon fight is a Rattata, so we're not going to use one of the- I'm not going to personally use one of those. This is not going to be like complete Pokedex or anywhere to like near that, because even though I have two Game Boys, a Link Cable, and the uh... Even though I have two Game Boys, a Link Cable, and uh, working copies of Red, Blue, and Yellow, um... I want to poke- want to approach this playthrough as objective as possible, and there's also going to be another set rule I have because of that, building my team. I am not going to use version exclusives, so because of that, um, any Pokemon that you can only find in red, such as, for instance, Growlithe and Mankey, I am not going to use on my team. So, uh, I want to approach this playthrough as objective as possible because, let's just say, uh, there are some people that do not like Gen 1 for how broken it is, and some people that are just flat-out Gen 1-ers, and I want, I want to also approach this as neutral as possible. Anyway. This is the Pokemon Center. It's a staple in Pokemon games. It heals all your Pokemon. But, uh, we're not going to get a second team member as of now. So, because of that, uh, I'm just going to toughen up my, uh, Squirtle. So, uh, you go to the smart. Hey, you came from Mallet Town. You know, Professor Oak, right? Your daughter came in and take it to him. We got Oak's Paracel. So, 
We actually have to go back to Pallet Town. Now, um, I could cut this, but, uh, actually, the interesting thing is, you just have to, uh, you just have to, uh, what am I trying to say? You just have to go up, you just have to take these, uh, things right here. Really, any unnecessary wild encounters I'll cut out of the video, and, uh, thankfully I haven't had any yet, but, uh, unless we've seen Pidgey, but, um... And Bowser grew to level 7, that wasn't a Pidgey, so I cut that out of the video, so, um... Now, uh, we're back at Pallet Town, so we're gonna deliver Oka uh, his parcel. Oh, bam! How is my little Pokémon? Well, it seems to like you a lot. You must be talented as a Pokémon trainer. What? You have something for me? Bear delivered Oak's parcel. Ah, this is the custom Pokéball I ordered. Thank you. Gramps. What did you call me for? Oh, right. I have a request of you two. On the desk there is my invention, Pokédex. Now, I'm actually records data on Pokémon you've seen or caught. It's a high-text encyclopedia. Bear and Blue, take these with you, and we receive Pokedex. Doing a complete guide in all the Pokemon in the world, that was my dream. But I'm too old, I can't do it, so I wanted to, you fill me a dream for me. Get you moving, you two. This is a great undertaking in Pokemon history. Alright, Gramps, leave it all to me. Bear, I hate to say it, but I don't need you. I know, I'll borrow a town smile from my sis. I'll tell you to learn when Bear, ha ha ha. What? Why don't we just go to our why don't we just go to his sister and take the map? Because we can actually get one anyway. If I actually run an here, this will help you, and we got a town map. Now um if we use a town map, I don't typically use it very much in Gen 1 playthroughs, and for some reason I can't use my start button. Okay, there it is. If we use the town map, um we can use Pallet Town in Viridian City, and there's a. It's, it's essentially gonna guide you on uh, where you're gonna go throughout the game. And uh, maybe I'll use it to explain a few things with this playthrough. However, I'm not personally the biggest fan of using it, so. Uh, we'll see where we go, but where we go with this. But uh, now we're just gonna go back to Viridian City. I think that's all we really have to do. And it's, May I want to see if we can encounter a Pidgey, so, uh... I'll include new Pokémon in the video and just cut out any unnecessary ones. Hey, there's a Pidgey! So, uh... Yeah, so, uh... Basically, Pidgey in Gen 1 is gonna know Gust right off the bat, however... In Generation 1, Gust is a normal-type move, so... That's another reason I don't particularly like using Pidgey in this game. We're gonna get a different flying type later on, but it's not gonna be Pidgey, let's just say. I already have my whole team planned out, but, uh... I'd say for the whole first gym, uh, Squirtle is going to be our main team member. Anyway, so, um... Yeah, so that's gonna cut it for this part. I think we're gonna cut it for this part of, uh, Pokemon Red. So, uh, next time on Pokemon Red... We're gonna see what we can do in Viridian City. Actually, uh, if we have this right, Viridian City. Yeah, Viridian City. So yeah, see you guys then.